Hello everyone, my name is Sophia Benjamin. Today we are going to speak about grooming. How to groom ourselves when we go for an interview or any professional or business meeting. So to begin with, now grooming we will start with clothing. First we will talk about men. Now when we go for a casual meeting, we can wear any kind of clothes like jeans or any casual t-shirt, jeans. But when we go for an interview, now interview is a professional event. Okay. So if it is a meeting, meeting interview, formal gatherings. We all need to wear formal clothes. Now when I say formal clothes depends on the level. For example in India when people when freshers go for an interview they don't really wear a blazer. What is a blazer? A blazer is a coat that you wear for a formal occasion. Now if you feel like wearing a blazer you could wear a blazer. In many uh, cities in India for example cooler places like New Delhi people feel cold very cold uh, they do wear blazers but in southern parts of India, because it is very hot, uh, people do not wear warm clothing. Okay, So, it is up to you when you are attending a professional event like a formal gathering, interview or meeting and if you are at a fresher level, somebody has to make a start. So, many people feel shy, many people don't want to invest in a coat or a blazer uh, but if you are not the kind who does not feel shy who is who would like to uh, experiment with a blazer and who would like to have a very professional look then probably you could start by wearing a blazer but if you're not comfortable you have to see your comfort level now when you wear a blazer probably you'll feel hot or you'll feel a bit shy or you won't feel that free. Now sometimes in corporate setting itself many people, many companies, many organizations implemented a dress code which is casual. Probably they felt the employees are very too uptight. What is uptight? You feel a certain discomfort, you feel oh it's a workplace so you don't have the freedom to work the way you want to work. So many companies and organizations implemented a casual dress code which is a jeans and a t-shirt. Nowadays if you go to coffee shops, if you go to some restaurants probably um, they wear jeans and t-shirts uh, and the atmosphere looks a bit, the dress code at least looks a bit casual. But in earlier days you would always see whether it's a coffee shop or a restaurant you would see usually people with long sleeved shirt, men with long sleeved white shirt and a black trousers which does not happen now. Even airlines earlier Airlines would have a very very formal dress code but nowadays if you see if you go through the local uh, aircrafts that fly local destinations you will see especially in summer some of the airlines have a very casual outfit they wear uh, they don't wear super formal clothes in order to make them comfortable so the company uh, starts or initiates a very casual dress code. Now that is a different uh, thing when the company 
once you are selected and the company tells you we don't believe in formal dress code but we go for a casual dress code in that case you could go in for a casual dress code once you are on board with the company once you are working for that company but interview would mean a formal attire all right the moment you think it is a formal uh, uh, an interview or a formal gathering or a meeting business meeting the first thing you think about is a formal dress code now we will start with men freshers all right now when freshers go for an interview most freshers when i take up a class they have no problem in going in jeans jeans uh, slippers and uh, shabby hair your face that will reflect probably uh, you are into technical line and uh, you are very good with your technical skills or your technical knowledge or you have good work experience does not mean that you take the uh, your look for granted there is a certain standard that has to be maintained standard what is the standard number 1 no shabby look you cannot go for an interview looking like as if you went for shopping or as if you went for a walk and as comfortable and con as convenient as it is for you you still have to make an effort to look neat professional and formal neat professional and formal so at least the basic clothing the basic standards you need to maintain first of all you need a formal shirt a formal shirt tailored trousers all right a formal shirt would be a long sleeved shirt with a collar a collar shirt long sleeved it can be stitched or you can buy it ready made but do not wear a t-shirt do not wear a kurta do not wear a a, a collared kurta kind of thing just go for a conservative what do i mean by conservative conservative is very old fashioned very uh, earlier times it has been continuing that kind of a formal clothing which is a long sleeved shirt now many people don't wear t-shirts they wear a long sleeved shirt for an interview but the colors are either they are brighter colors or maroonish or brownish and the color is not a bar when you go for an interview as long as your clothing is formal but you need to consider your look for example if you wear a brown shirt it will not reflect as much the brown color will not reflect to enhance your look in comparison if you try a sober color like light blue or white background then you'll see that the color white or the light blue gives your face or your overall look a very pleasant calm sober look and that is what we want at the interview so if you try a very nice light blue 
I am not talking about brands. If you can afford a branded shirt and if you like buying branded clothes, please buy. But otherwise, brand does not make a difference as much as you stick to the dress code like a formal long sleeved collared shirt with a light background will be just good. Now do not keep your buttons open until here. Your button should be, your chest should be this much. At the most if you are not wearing a tie you could keep one button open here but don't leave two to three buttons open just for style. That is for a casual outing and not for an interview or a business dress code. Now if you are wearing a tie you could just take somebody's help and you could learn how to tie the knot of a tie and you could wear it. It should be, it should not go below your belt. All right, it should be just about your belt, length of the belt from here to the way your belt is. Also, don't buy fancy ties like very, very slim ties or very fat ties. Just a medium sized tie with a very sober coloring. For example, you are wearing a light blue shirt. You could go in for something like um, black blue, dark blue, light blue combination design. Okay, but don't go for flashy designs on your tie, like a, a, a very f a flashy yellow color tie, or a very silky looking tie, or a very red ki kind of tie. Those are all okay for special occasions. But for an interview, go for something which is little dull looking color on your tie. Okay? And preferably matte finish. What do I mean by matte finish? Matte finish. Matte finish is something that does not have a shine or a gloss. And for interview, for every um, garment that you wear, or even <coughs> excuse me the makeup that girls wear should everything be in matte finish because we we don't want something glossy and shiny right so the color of the color of the tie can be very sober dull looking gray blue black light blue dark blue those kind of combinations gray and black and blue together also a little geomet geometrical design or striped something like that would just be fine. Also the color of the shirt we have mentioned light blue or probably with a white background. You can go for pinstripes. Pinstripes. Pin stripes would be, as the word says, like the pin. Fine stripes. Okay? Fine striped shirt or absolutely plain. Plain color. Some people call it self color, but plain color. Pin stripes or plain color. Okay? And preferably either light blue if it's plain or white background if it is pin stripes. No multicolored stripes. At the most it can be black, white, blue combination. Three colors mostly. Two colors would just be ideal if it is pin stripes. In that case you could wear a plain tie. Now because this is with design tie should be plain color like a gray color tie okay but if this is shirt is plain blue tie can be striped striped or geometrical design design dull color color 
tie okay so your tie shirt is striped then try to wear a plain color tie preferably a, a darker blue or navy blue or a gray color okay or black and white little uh, but if it is the shirt is striped pin stripes preferably fine stripes then you could go in for a plain color and if the plain, if shirt is plain color go in for a design tie but avoid colors like orange yellow um, red glossy finish instead go for matte finish all right um, so um, okay so this is what we are going to uh, cover the grooming part of it where <coughs> the men will wear formal shirt and formal tie and now coming to the trousers you need to wear a belt which is very obvious trousers has to be tailored trouser the pant tailored trouser is a formal trouser now some people are not comfortable with the fit of the formal trouser and as far as my experience experience goes in India if you are a fresher and if you're not so comfortable wearing a tailored trousers you could go in for uh, a chino in gray color or a black color <coughs> excuse me what is a chino now I'm not saying the formal code dress code for men is formal shirt and a chino no I'm saying only for those freshers who are not so comfortable nowadays most youngsters they have got used to wearing jeans okay but jeans is a complete no jeans is a complete no for an interview so what do you do if you are so used to wearing jeans and not used to wearing formal trousers only for those you could go in for a chino because a chino is in the shape of a jeans but the material is a cotton material the cloth use is uh, a heavier cotton so the shape everything of the trousers will be in the form of a jeans in the shape of the jeans but the material looks like a formal clothing so if you go for a chino which is in gray color in gray or uh, in black you could always this is more preferable a black color chino what is a chino a cotton trousers which is in the shape of a jeans it has pockets it has a zipper it has button everything just like a jeans but it is not a jeans it is a cotton material trousers so you could try the black chino so now you know the shirt plain or pinstripes and a formal trousers a tailored trousers preferably in black navy blue gray gray color or brown okay navy blue and black look just good navy blue is an excellent color for formal wear if you're going for a blazer I would say first preference you could give for navy blue it is a darker blue a richer blue but it looks more like black so if you go in for navy blue full suit or a, a blazer it will look great all right underneath you could wear a, a shirt which is striped or plain does not matter you could wear a tie and you could wear a chino or a tailored trouser so if you're going for an, a, a very very formal look you could try the blazer but 
Again another formal look for interview could be shirt, tie and a trousers. But if you are the kind of person who is also not used to a tie, then there are many candidates who go in for an interview with just a sh formal shirt and a trousers. It depends on the post that you are applying for. But if you are applying for a higher role, a higher designation, then you need to keep in mind that <coughs> excuse me, a blazer is required. A blazer will give you a very good look, especially um, if you are applying for a higher position. Second, it would be at least a tie and a formal shirt and a formal trousers with formal shoes. But if you want to really compromise, then minus blazer, minus tie, but at least a formal shirt just with just one button open, um, not two buttons open, only one button open with a formal trouser or a chino with formal shoes. What are formal shoes? Ideally, the color for formal shoes would be black. Black is the best formal color for shoes. Now, as far as socks are concerned, socks should always be worn matching. It could be matching with your trousers. If you're wearing a navy blue trousers, you could buy a pair of navy blue socks. If you're wearing black trousers, you could buy a pair of black socks. If you're wearing brown trousers, you could buy a pair of brown uh, socks. But socks, formal socks, not the sports type of socks, formal socks and a formal pair of shoes. If you invest this and put <coughs> a formal outfit together, then you could repeat. There is no harm in repeating the same outfit for every interview. This is your investment. Many people, many students who are freshers, for, who apply for a job for the first time, they don't want to invest. They think they can go with their casual clothing or the way they are. But a little bit of investment will give you a very professional look. Many times they say, but if we are very good with our skills, we don't need to uh, go with the formal dress code. Probably some companies may be okay with it. But if you are the interviewer and if you take two candidates, all right. Both the candidates are equally good with their skills, the technical skills. But one is dressed in jeans and very shabby looking, very casual looking, not so groomed, not so clean, not so neat. But the other guy is very neat looking. What's your choice? You would obviously, because they both have good skills, technically they are both good and sound, you will choose, want to choose a person who is given little attention to the look or the neatness. So just consider that. Do not uh, give any excuse, leave any excuse for the interviewer to find fault with you. I understand that um, in order for you to be able to work effectively, you need skills and communication more than your look. But your look will also make a difference. Your look will give you a very pleasant personality or pleasant outlook. And it is very uh, nice to see somebody who is well dressed, who is neatly dressed. Of course, it is uh, good to see somebody who has given attention to his look. Now we have to see, now we are done with the clothing, we are done with the shoes, we are done with the socks. We are going to see the hairstyles. Okay. Now what are the hairstyles? Now the current trend of hairstyle is either the boys have long hair which is very trendy and stylish or they have very short crew cut crew cut 
okay so if they have very uh, short hair which means they have the ideal hairstyle if you have long hair I would say for an interview at a corporate level is not ideal if you have long hair which is looking really trending nowadays and looking really cool and nice you could use it or you could go the way you are with long hair for a more creative job profile for example you are a photographer or a videographer or a graphic designer maybe because you are in a or a filmmaker or an actor you could spot that very creative and trendy hairstyle and look but if you are applying at a corporate level if you are working for a, a multinational then your long hair does not suit the environment or the profile that you have applied for in that case you will have to have a very short haircut which looks neat you could keep some sideburns uh, something like that you could keep a, a goatee a beard or you could shave off your mustache or you could keep it but your hairstyle should look neat all right and preferably if it is a corporate level you need to go for a shorter neat looking hairstyle now if you are the kind of person who uses hair oil try to avoid hair oil because when you go for an interview and you have hair oil on your hair may look sticky also your face will not look that fresh because the hair oil will take away the the smoothness of the hair will start making it sticky and that will reflect on your face so on the day of the interview if you have hair oil on your hair please wash your hair and preferably with shampoo and conditioner even if you are a guy use a little bit of shampoo little bit of conditioner and uh, wash it go in for a haircut if you want you could also get your hair set just before going for the interview but the point is to make you look neat all right now um, hairstyle is done if now again another trend is people grow their beards but if you're going for an interview if you if you have grown your beard if you have kept your beard it may be fine but you need to make sure you make the beard neat you trim it well all right and it, your beard has to be shapely but if you are a kind of person who shaves sometimes you don't shave every day and you like that cool stubble look what is stubble let me write that for you stubble stubble is the fine hair that is that grows after you shave it's not a fully grown beard but little bit of hair it's neither shaved nor a fully grown beard it's just slight leftover or new grown hair hair growth on your beard area is called stubble now that stubble uh, you cannot have it may look very um, okay let me just see uh, is it stubble or I think it's stubble okay again it is a very cool and trendy look nowadays it's trending among boys where they uh, do not shave fully do not look clean shaven but for an interview you cannot try that experiment that the cool look you need to be clean shaven so trim the beard okay either clean shaven which is you will clean your beard or you will trim the beard and trim the moustache 
if you are shaving then you better go clean and shave on that day so that extra growth is not seen on your beard area but if you are keeping the beard let it be a shapely beard by trimming and if you are keeping your moustache let it be a shapely well trimmed moustache and beard now that is about it try not to wear wrist bands wrist bands are okay for you to go out um, try to take them off if you have a gold chain or something like some jewelry like that which you wear for a fancy purpose again jewelry is not meant for interview purpose now the ladies can wear jewelry which should be very very minimal and very very subtle and very very um, thin minimum okay but for men usually you should avoid wearing jewelry especially the fat thick gold and silver chains all right take off the wrist bands now that is your complete look as far as perfume is concerned if you use strong perfume strong perfume it is considered to be very rude what is rude uh, if you're using very strong perfume the whole room gets filled with that smell extra smell so you are supposed to use you can use perfume and you must use perfume or a duo for a spray uh, as you go out or even when you go for an interview but make sure people don't feel suffocated with the smell if it is strong and powerful uh, it can put off the other people perfume does not agree with everybody the smell if it is strong and extra can be heady it can be nauseating what is nauseating some people feel like vomiting after they take that strong smell just like a room freshener which is overdone same is the perfume if you use it to too much or a very strong smelling perfume it is a strict no no but you can just put for the smell of it a uh, light mild perfume all right this other interview things that you need to remember okay even for a business meeting or uh, public meetings uh, when you have a meeting a uh, formal meetings do not use strong perfumes to annoy the person you are meeting or to spread that extra fragrance in the room okay so now we are done with the men's formal look remember one is a blazer depends on your designation if you are applying for really a higher position then you need a full suit jacket or blazer and matching trousers otherwise you could just go in for a different color trousers and a uh, and a plain color uh, a jacket or a blazer but if you are applying for a medium position and you are really not a kind of person who is comfortable with blazers you could go with a shirt and a tie you could go in without a tie only if you are not comfortable wearing a tie but ideally if you use a tie it would create an impression and many people in india uh, many uh, freshers in india feel very shy wearing a tie but i would say once you make it a habit to wear a tie you will start enjoying it you will start liking your look and seeing you your friends will also follow the trend so uh, don't stay away from wearing a tie if you are feeling shy but you can stay away from it if you are not comfortable or if you don't have one but otherwise my recommendation is put a whole formal outfit together trousers shirt belt socks shoes and a little bit of grooming which is trimming your beard trimming your mustache or shaving it all together and 
going for a neat haircut also you could wash your face and use a little bit of moisturizer especially during summer when there is too much of humidity or during winter when there is too much of dryness on your face do not go with dry skin you could as soon as you wash your face as soon as you clean up your face you could take a little bit of moisturizer and put it all over your face to make your face smoother also you could um, try uh, avoid using gel for interview because it may look give you a very sticky face gel you could say for special occasions and it is only for people who can carry it off but if you can't carry it off it will look like as if you have dabbed your hair with oil all right